Trust the process. Trust the process. I know you've heard that before. Trust the process. Uh, if you if you follow basketball at all, I know you heard MB say it. Trust the process. And this is what my theme is going to be today, guys. Trust the process. So before we even get started, I want to give a shout out to Seize the Greatness, my church. So I'm wearing the shirt so I want to represent. <laughs> but, so you're watching this YouTube, you can see I'm wearing my green shirt today. But I'm sitting in the backyard, guys. I'm about to head off to uh, Carnival Cruise Line. About to have some fun. Gone for a couple of days. I need it. A little R&R. &R. It's about to, have some, about to have some fun. So I just want to make sure that I had a chance to uh, shoot a quick video as well as add to the podcast. And we, we got to keep this thing going every single week. I know I have a lot of people out looking this weekend uh, for houses. And I just thought of some things that I wanted to add to, to give you some some tools that you could use. Let my buddy say uh, some tools for you to for your toolbox. OK, but I uh, trust the process. So I thought of four things that should help you guys uh, get yourself on the contract. All right. So the, the first thing I want to talk about is it's a numbers game. It is a numbers game in this market. 2023. It is June of 2023. You got to you, you got to put in a lot of offers. I don't know what to tell you. You got to put in a lot of offers. It's the days of putting in one offer, two offers. It may happen. And I've seen it happen very few times this year. But you have to expect to write a lot of offers. As simple as that. If you got to go out there, write the offers and you're going to increase your chances of getting on a contract. Don't get discouraged. Just understand that's just how things are. All right. And your real estate agent is going to thank you for it. But you got to stay out there. You got to stay active. The other thing I want to add on to that is trying out different areas. So if you're in Delaware, trying out different areas of Delaware. If you're in Maryland, PA, so on, so on. I don't care where you're at. You have to try multiple areas. It's just my advice. You don't have to, but I've seen people doing that and just it increases their chances of finding a home. Now, I do understand that a lot of times it may be a situation where you need to be closer to your job or it may be a school district, wherever it is. I get that. But just being open to that, because if you're just looking at one neighborhood, or trying to move to just to one town or one city, you may be missing out. And sometimes it makes a difference on taxes too. So let's just be open-minded to that, all right? So number two, keep your pre-approval active. You can't get yourself pre-approved and just disappear for weeks at a time or for months at a time. It's this, the, the, the pre-approval process, number one, we go through everything, your income, we look at the rates, we want to make sure that we match up that, that mortgage payment that's going to work for you that fits your budget. However, rates change, that may change your budget. All right. Um, there may be a change in your income. There may be a change in your credit. So you want to stay active. Uh, the credit report that we receive from you guys is, is to stay active for 120 days. It's traditional what it is, 120 days. But you want to stay active because if you don't, you may uh, stand a chance of want to write an offer on the property. We may send you back through that whole process again. And that that particular price point that we chose for you may not work anymore. So you got to stay active. Keep that pre-approval as active as possible. OK, and I want to add something else onto that. All right. What I want to add on to that is consider getting yourself a conditional approval. So what that means is the loan officer would take your information submit that into underwriting, allow the underwriters to review all the documentation. And they say, OK, well, based upon the information that we've seen, this person is conditionally approved once they find a home, once they get themselves on a contract. And that could be the difference between you getting on a contract and not. Because when a listing agent, remember, you got to think like a seller, you got to think like a listing agent. When a listing agent in the seller looks at the, all the offers that's coming in, and they see yours sitting there, it's pre-approved and it's been conditionally approved. Not that it's a guarantee, but it's a high chance that they may look at your offer uh, before they look at the others because you have already been underwritten. So just something to think about. In the Fluent Mortgage, we can do that for you. Not every lender could do this, guys. So you have to ask, can you get me uh, a conditional approval? And we can do that for sure. Check me out at a Fluent Mortgage, okay? We'll get you all set up. 
The third thing is staying in contact with your team. Stay close, <laughs> stay close with your team. So that'll be your real estate agent. Make sure you call and check in, uh, talk to them about different strategies. Uh, just stay close because like I said, the market may change. They may come up with different strategies for you and you wanna stay active with them. So therefore they can find different ways to get yourself under contract. The other thing is staying in contact with your loan officer. I think I'm a cool guy. You, you may, you wanna stay on the phone with me, okay? Check in with me uh, once a week, uh, once every, at least at least every other week. You know what I mean? Check in and let's just see how things are going. Maybe the market changed, the rates are different, uh, different strategies I may have come up with, uh, different programs. There's a lot of different things that can happen along the way. So you want to stay active. What I've seen is sometimes you may find someone that that, like I said, got themselves pre-approved and they disappear for weeks and months. And you know, it is that's not a good thing. That is definitely not a good thing because you may find a home that you want to write an offer on, but say that particular day that real estate agent is available, or that loan officer may not be available that day. It's not like we're available 24 hours a day. So you want to make sure you keep that uh, into consideration when you're uh, looking to write an offer. So stay in contact with your team at all times. All right. The fourth thing. The fourth fourth thing is being active you got to stay active you have to uh lock yourself in and you got to find that home if you're buying that house or you're looking for the investment property you got to stay active so every single week you're trying to write an offer you calling that real estate agent you calling that loan officer hey i gotta go see a house i gotta go see a house i gotta go see a house that's the only way you're going to get yourself under contract you can't look at one home and just disappear for weeks at a time you got to stay active all right. And just staying away from distractions. Sometimes this this right here, this could be the biggest dis distraction that's out there is that the phone or your computer, because there's so many different updates that you get in from the news or uh, the, the, the social media uh, 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 market analysis. Right. And a lot of these people never even written a loan before or been a real estate agent. So how are they going to give you all of this great information on what you shouldn't shouldn't do and they're not even certified to do this all right you're not gonna uh, ask a plumber about your roof will you <laughs> so why would you expect to get great information for someone that that doesn't specialize in this market so stick with the pros but you gotta block out the noise you gotta block it out this will get you every single time staying active Make sure you stay active. So that's the only thing I want to leave with you guys because I know it's the weekend and you're out looking for a house and you, you you're trying to get yourself under contract. So just think about these things. You know, these these are seem like they're simple steps, but they're extremely important to your team. Extremely important to your team. And we're trying to get you under contract is the ultimate goal of this. And don't allow anyone to uh, discourage you from your journey. This is your journey. This is your dream. It's not the realist's job. It's not the loan officer's job. Ultimately, it's not. It's your job to ensure you get, you find yourself a home. It's your job to make sure you stay in contact with your team. We're here to support you. And I think I'm pretty aggressive. And I think a lot of real, uh, real estate agents out there, they're aggressive as well. But you should be the main person pushing this project. This is your goal. This is your dream. Not your friends, not your family, you know, not your social media people. You want to make sure that you do whatever it takes to get yourself on the contract. All right, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Click that notifications bell so you can get all the updates that I put out there. We're going to have some fun with it, but I'm about to be out. I'm leaving. Got to take some days off, guys. I can't wait till I get back. And I, I'm, while I'm gone, I'm going to think a lot of other things that we could talk about on this channel. The benefit of this market and what I do for a living we have unlimited amount of subjects that we could talk about. We want to make sure it stays relevant to what you guys want to hear about. And if you have any suggestions, make sure you reach out to them and let me know. Peace.